All right, Stonk Meme Mania is back. Roaring Kitty <laughs> makes a post today. He hasn't done so in like three years. And everybody loses their collective minds. People start buying GME. It's like like the Undertaker coming back from the grave in WrestleMania. You have AMC shooting through the roof. You have this simply this this picture, a meme, of a dude leaning forward in a chair. Maybe it's a gaming chair. He's looking at a screen. Maybe it's a TV screen. Maybe it's a video game system. I don't know. But whatever he's leaning forward into, he's very interested in it. And so then you have GameStop, GameStop <laughs> flying higher by about, what, 110% at one point? And then it starts to pull back and flat lines, okay? So then we go from GME to AMC. And because all the posts that he makes thereafter on X is talking about different movie clips, and he's like meshing together all these different movie clips, but it's only movie clips that he's really talking about. Everybody's assuming now that it's AMC. So and then AMC rockets 80% higher, and it's trading like another 20% higher in after hours. So everybody's trying to figure out what it is. He's being very cryptic, and it, what a time to be alive because some dude posts a picture of a, of a dude leaning forward in a chair, and every, everybody starts hyping up all the stocks, trying to assume they know what he's thinking. They're giving this guy like a godlike complex, like he's going to save them from, from their financial distress and from their bad trades the first time that they followed him into GME. You know how I many people lost money on GME and AMC over the years? Why the heck would you go follow this guy back into it? And I know people are going to be like, oh, Diamond Hands, whatever. Diamond Hands loses your money. Ask the people who are still holding GameStop. Even with that big move today, still losing money. AMC, still losing money. And I'm all for sticking it to this man. I'm all for sticking it to Wall Street. But this is just stupid. You got some dude that goes by the name of Roaring Kitty. He made a bazillion dollars off of it last time, you know, doing GameStop. And kudos to him. But he doesn't really care about you. Do you really think he cares about you? Come on. You think he collective? He really sits there and says, I'm wanting to help you make money. And this is what I'm doing. If he's getting into AMC, for instance, I would be willing to bet he's not waiting for you to get into it first before he starts his position. He's already got his massive position, and now he's using his platform to drive the hype or whatever stock it's going to be. He's already got his position in it. He's looking out for himself, just like pretty much everybody else in the stock market does, and as they should. But don't give this guy some kind of like savior complex to make you think that he's going to make you all this money and you just got to follow him to the promised land. Because that's not the case. So if you get into it, you get what you deserve. Let's look at the, let's look at these stocks anyways here, shall we? So we have AMC. You got you got the move up on the one minute chart. It's it's pretty wild. It you you've got it trading at over six dollars an after hour. So there's a good chance that it, it pops much higher tomorrow as well, especially if he continues to put videos out and makes his message a little bit clearer. And if it, especially if it revolves around AMC, but the problem here with AMC is that if it doesn't have anything to do with the stock, what do you think the stock is going to do? It's going to come right back down. Remember, this is a stock they had to do a reverse stock split for. You see this right here where it says one out of 10 or uh, one divided by 10. That means they had to, they had to 10 X the stock price and then reduce your shares by 10 by, or divide it by 10 to be able to get the stock price to where it's at right now. Otherwise, we'd be trading at 51 cents per share. Pretty wild, right? But yet, people are putting their faith in the stock. They're they're going ahead and they're probably putting home equity lines if they have a home, and the, and then they're they're probably taking out cash out of their credit cards to try to get in on this side. It's like oh, I missed it last time, but this time it's the first day I'm getting right into it. People are looking for for the money to get back that they lost before because tons and tons of people lost from AMC. Look at this. You think. You think there's all winners here? No. And remember, when somebody like Rory and Kitty or the big money or the people who make millions of dollars off of these things, guess what they have to do in order to realize those gains? They have to sell. Who are they selling it to? You. They're selling it to you. They're selling it to you because they have to liquidate their positions to be able to realize the profits that they've made. And so you know how many people it takes to be able to liquidate their positions? It takes tens of thousands of traders to do that. So when they're selling out, and there's look, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing in terms of selling their positions that they've made a profit on. But to think that everybody's just going to get rich off of this news, not. More people than not will lose and lose massively. Say probably even 95%. If I had to guess, 95% of the people will lose money trying to trade this kind of stuff. 
You take GME. Every one of these spikes have been dramatically sold. And these spikes were much, much bigger than the one that we saw right here. Even still, most of the people, if you got in beforehand, you're still underwater. Let's say you got in at 2022, you're probably still losing money. If you got in 2023, you're definitely losing money still. So getting into this GME stuff, getting into the hype, hoping for the best. I mean, I hope the best for you guys, but more likely than not, you're going to get your head handed to you and it's not going to be a pretty sight. So what I would tell you and what I would tell everybody else listening, trading is not about one trade. Trading is not about sticking it to somebody. Trading is not about trying to win big. It's about making consistent gains over the long term, having a strategy and following it, managing the risk. When you're getting into GME, when you're getting into AMC, there's no real way to manage the risk. And so you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage by following this dude who's got this massive platform. And he knows that simply by putting a meme out there, he can drive whatever money he wants into any stock that he wants. But in the end, the people who are going to be profitable are those around him and, and himself. And you guys are going to be the reason for it. But you aren't going to be the ones that are leaving with the, with the money bags in hand. It'll be him. Because you guys gave him the liquidation ability to be able to get out of his positions at a much higher higher price. If you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to like and subscribe to this channel. I know it's not going to agree with everybody. I know it's kind of soul crushing to hear these words, but having traded stocks for an extremely long time now, I've seen it. I've seen these kinds of things come and go and they never end well. So tell me down in the comments below, are you buying into the hype? Are you going to uh, try to jump in on this GME stuff? Or are you sitting this one out and just letting it uh, do what it what it must do love to hear from you guys thank you guys and god bless